Hey there, welcome back to Pendant and Ring. This is a throwback video with a new twist. When we first started making videos, we made showcase videos all the time. We talked about what was new and where you could find it, and that was a fun way to share what was going on with Pendant and Ring. Then we shifted to sharing history. Why? Because we love history. Not to say that we want to regress, we don't. Not that all history is good, because it's not. We like to explore history because we can better understand where we are today if we know how we got here. I mean the big we, humanity. Like, subscribe, and click the bell to get more Pendant Ring videos in your feed. In today's jewelry showcase with a twist of history, we have four items to explore. The coin pendants and collectible coins are linked in the description below. The first coin pendant is in the Pendant and Ring Etsy store. It's a Japanese samurai era Shu Ryu coin necklace. It comes with a velvet jewelry box and a certificate of authenticity. The samurai era lasted from the late 12th century until the 1870s. This coin is from the mid-1800s when the samurai had assumed managerial roles in society. Up to that point, the samurai lines were hereditary. Responsibilities and loyalties were passed from father to son. The Japanese samurai families were similar to European knights. The fathers and their sons served the nobility. When Japan began trading with the West, they started making some changes. The samurai mothers and daughters at this time were educated in the art of battle and philosophy and encouraged to undertake literary pursuits as well. By the mid-1800s, the samurai composed only 5% of the population and continued to decline as feudalism was replaced with modern government. This is an uncirculated Guatemalan 0.835 silver real minted in 1897. On the obverse, the engraver Jean Lagrange rendered the Guatemalan coat of arms with a long-tailed quetzal bird perched on the scroll that shows the date of Guatemala independence. On the reverse, Lady Justice is leaning on the Guatemalan constitution facing to the left. She holds the scales in her left hand and a cornucopia in her right hand. We just made a full-length 1901 Guatemala history video. It's linked here in the upper right corner and in the description if you want to watch it after the video. In 1897, General Jose Maria Reina Berrios was the president and he was a show me the money kind of guy. In order to smooth things over with the moneyed people in his country that he didn't assassinate, Berrios started throwing annual parties, but he called them expositions. These Exposiciones Centroamericana served as meet and greet gatherings for foreign dignitaries and the up and coming Guatemalans that Perros liked. The official decree promoted the event saying, It is time for Guatemala to showcase its advances in agriculture and those works, children of the intelligence and ingenuity of our fellow countrymen in an expo that will be a peace fest where Guatemala will render its best accomplishments. But the economy collapsed, the expo was an utter failure, and Reina Barros was assassinated the following year. As the economy crumbled, the one real coins changed, so that by the end of 1899 they were minted on 0.500 silver planchettes, making the 0.835 silver reals even more valuable to collectors like us. This is a Standing Liberty coin pendant necklace. The coin is a 0.900 silver quarter dollar with Lady Liberty looking over her left shoulder. She is wearing chainmail beneath her robes, looking toward her shield and away from an olive branch. The design was created by Herman Atkins McNeil in 1916 as World War I raged on. In this coin, Our Lady Liberty looks forward to defend peace, even at the cost of battle. The design was on the U.S. quarter from 1917 until 1930. If you are a baseball fan, then this is the pendant for you. So the coin was minted in 1927, and that was the year of the magic New York Yankees. Babe Ruth led the murderer's row of hitters, including Lou Gehrig, Tony Lazari, Bob Musil, Earl Combs, and Mark Koenig. The Yankees won 110 games that season and beat the Pittsburgh Pirates to win the national championship in four games. Four Yankees players topped the American League, Babe Ruth, Lou Gehrig, Wade Hoyt, and Will Moore. The 1927 Yankees are widely considered the greatest baseball team ever. Up next, we have a collectible error coin. This is a .750 silver Irish florin minted in 1928. Error coins are made in a damaged state at the mint and usually destroyed. This filled die error coin escaped that fate. You can see how the die was overloaded with grease on the obverse side. There is a grease line behind the lettering, especially visible behind the letters S, A, O, and R. Now for the history. 
1928, when this era coin was minted, Ireland was in the process of creating the first Serostat pound, the first punt coin, and de facto pegged the Irish punt to the sterling pound. Also that year, the first east-to-west transatlantic flight left Dublin and arrived in New York 18 days later. Lastly, we have a 1953 English half-crown coin pendant necklace set in this lovely embellished coin pendant bezel on a simple gold-filled snake chain. It and all the goodies you have seen are linked in the description below. We just made a great short about the history of Westminster Abbey and Queen Elizabeth II's coronation that took place in the same year that this half crown was minted. I will link it here so you can watch it. Thus ends our jewelry showcase with a twist of history. Like, subscribe, and click the bell. We'll see you next time on Pendant and Ring.